Sigh of relief across the province this afternoon as a Niagara area Amber Alert ends with five children found safe and sound. But there are so many questions tonight about what happened here. Shalima Maharaj is at the Niagara Regional Police Headquarters. Shalima. Well, Alan, we had a whole community here who was on lookout for any sign of Ian McDermott or the vehicle that they were provided a description for by police. Now, when we arrived here at police headquarters, we actually had a chance to speak to Ian McDermott, and he declined to go on camera to speak with us, but he is telling us that this is one big misunderstanding. We asked him questions like, did you see the Amber Alert? Were you aware that authorities were even looking for you? And there really isn't a great degree of clarity about that right now. So as one search for the children and for McDermott has come to a close. Now the search for answers is ramping up. Wearing dark clothing, Ian McDermott stood outside Niagara Regional Police Headquarters Wednesday afternoon after speaking to officers. His whereabouts and that of his five children were the subject of an Amber Alert that went into effect on Tuesday. Thanks to new information, police were able to track down the red Toyota Camry they had been looking for, leading them to McDermott and an unknown woman in Fort Erie. The children were then found at a nearby rental cottage in good health. At this point, uh, Mr. McDermott is not under arrest. Uh, the investigation remains ongoing by our detectives from our child abuse unit. McDermott, who was brought to the station in handcuffs, declined to speak on camera, but says this is all a misunderstanding and the children were on vacation. I can promise you that the Amber Alert is not a simple and easy step that anyone undertakes. We impact millions of people across this province and that is not a step that's undertaken uh, lightly. In the hours following the alert being issued, police reported that the children were taken from the family home sometime between September 19th and September 25th and were subject to a temporary custody order. A missing person report was filed by Family and Children's Services Niagara. Allison Chamberlain lives in the region and was immediately distraught when the Amber Alert was issued. If it's an Amber Alert, that child's life could be at risk and my heart sunk. As for what comes next. The detectives continue their investigation, Family and Children's Services, they have a role obviously to ensure that the children are, are, are safe and well. There'll be some interviews that will obviously have to take place. Now, investigators will next look to determine whether charges are even warranted in this case. In the meantime, head to globalnews.ca slash Toronto for the latest.